Feldspar is major constituent of igneous, metamorphic and sedimentary rocks. We are going to discuss how we identify feldspar in thin section. So let us start our conversation from cross polarized light. In XPL it show first order interference color on the rotation of stage it show gray to white color it showed different kind of twinning that is important characteristic for the identification of feldspar in xpl mode we have two types of feldspar alkali feldspar and plagioclase feldspar as you can see in this diagram we can identify these types of feldspar we can classify we can differentiate these feldspar on the basis of different kind of twinning within the feldspar here you can see this is microcline in which you can see this is cross hedge twinning uh, that is also known as tartan twinning a call spread twinning that you can see in this thin section it is important characteristic of orthoclase perthite and antiperthite twinning is also another characteristics of alkali feldspar especially uh, potassium feldspar orthoclase show perthite twinning uh, on the other hand plagioclase show different kind of twinning that is known as albite twinning as you can see in this thin section this is the plagioclase that showing albite twinning when we observed feldspar in plain polarized light it is a low relief mineral but its relief is little higher than quartz it remain colorless non pleochroic in plain polarized light an untwinned grain of feldspar can be confused with quartz because they have almost same interference color and they have almost same relief but we can differentiate an untwinned feldspar from quartz by using different kind of criteria number one the surface of feldspar is altered when we see in cross polarized light the surface of feldspar alter into mica that is known as sericitization of feldspar as you can see in this thin section plain polarized light it often appear cloudy or brown color on the other hand quartz appear clear in plain polarized light baculine method can be used to differentiate an untwinned feldspar from quartz here baculine will move toward the material that have high refractive index as we know feldspar have high refractive index so baculine will move into the feldspar so in this way we can differentiate feldspar from quartz when a quartz grain undergo different kind of forces it become deform and stain a stain and deform quartz is identified by different kind of fractures it can be identified by undulous extinction and it can be identified by polycrystalline growth of quartz that we mostly observe in metamorphic rocks on the other hand when feldspar go to deformation it show plastic deformation that we can see in this thin section grains of quartz mostly found in anhedral to subhedral crystal shape and they are mostly rounded on the other hand feldspar grains are found in euhedral to subhedral grain shape 
crystal form and crystal habit is also very important for the identification of feldspar and differentiation of feldspar from quartz and other minerals. While we see quartz, quartz is mostly found in equant crystal form, while on other hand feldspar found in tabular, elongated, azucular and a rectangular form. It is mostly found in the form of feldspar lath. Thank you very much for watching this video and if you are interested in petrography so you can follow me, you can subscribe the channel and please share my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.